foot four inches tall, but a whopping seven and a half inch reach advantage with the champion, John Jones. All right, now to do his thing, here's Bruce Buck. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening, sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director Brian Francis, Commission Chairman Rick Figueroa. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Marcos Rosales, Joe Solis, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This championship bout is sponsored by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit, and P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you all have been waiting for. Live from the Minnesota State at the Sola Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. holding an undefeated professional record. 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Victorville, California, presenting the number four ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Dominic the Devastator. Yeah, baby. the champion fighting out of the red corner of the seeking style fighter holding a professional record 25 wins one loss one no contest he stands six feet four inches tall weighing in at 204 pounds fighting out of albuquerque new mexico by way of endicott new york presenting the undisputed Champion of the world, John Bone Jones! Okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all time. I want you to protect yourselves at all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Best of luck, both of you. Back to your corner, so. Oh boy. 15th straight title fight for John Jones, dating to March of 2011 per that's, Caesars Palace. That's really crazy when you stop to think about that. Nuts, man. Minus 550 against Dominic Reyes, who comes back at plus 375. He has had eyes locked on John Jones from the moment. You ready, sir? John entered this arena. You ready, John? Let's go, gentlemen, fight. We are underway tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Proof for those with a fighting spirit. Immediately, Dominic Reyes with a good knee to the body, a good left hand. They're getting after him right away. Ooh. Reyes appeared to just miss with that left hook. Watch those two kicks to the knees. That's where Reyes said, I got to attack. There it is. I got to attack his legs first, and he's already getting hit with those. That's where how Jones gets his range is those knee kicks. Reyes said he did not see a path to victory if he couldn't destroy Jones' legs. Look at that high kick by Reyes. Nicely done by Jones on the low leg attack there. They're both clashing shins here. Watch your fingers, John. Watch your fingers. Pressure by Reyes, not taking a step back. Keep going. Reyes has a nasty uppercut, too. Look nice at that right hook. exchanges. Every time Jones goes to lift his leg, Reyes kicks. He's doing that clashing shin to shin hard. But John is checking that. Ooh. 
You see him committing to those kicks, and Reyes is hitting the angles. If he yes. commits too much and gets that angle, it's going to be tough for Jones. Can't give up that angle. There's the reaching. A couple warnings now for John Jones with those fingers extended. Inside leg kick by Dominic Reyes. Dominic looks confident and calm here in the biggest fight of his life. Looks like he belongs here. What's different is the pace is not John Jones' pace. Right now it's either guy's pace. Jones isn't controlled it right, right away like he generally does. Right. Nice kick by Jones there. Beautiful. Not yet, but we're only two minutes in. a different position for Jones right now. He's on his heels, and he got rocked already. Not a lot of times you see John Jones sit down like that. Good kick to the body. Nice. Good left hand. Dominic Reyes finding his range early. Nice body shot by Jones there. Yeah, Jones starting to attack that midsection. Now that patented front kick to the knee. Inside low kick for Dominic Reyes. And what I don't like is how John dropped his hands to block it. The hands of Reyes are causing some disruption for Jones so far, just like you said. And see how he's circling Jones before he kicks. He's not just kicking down the center line. He gets Jones to step left or right before he throws the kick, which changes things. Three minutes in, a lot of people felt like Reyes absolutely had to get off to a good start tonight to have a chance. He has certainly done that. doing a pretty good job keeping that right glove high to prevent some of that damage, but nice Reyes inside low kick. That's going to be key. If Reyes doesn't keep attacking the legs of Jones, Jones is going to get the timing on that knee poke. So he's got to keep attacking the leg because Jones never stops attacking those legs on you. Reyes' footwork, we, we talked about that leading into the fight, is a crucial factor because he's such a good athlete. Coming from that football background, his, his ability to explode and change directions is outstanding. Kick to the body there. Nice I, job. I think it's a big factor. Really digging those toes into the midsection down the stretch of the round and a nice offering there from Johnny Bones. Nice left high kick by Jones, lands on the money too. Constant pressure by John. There's a good high kick by John. Reyes used a lot of energy early, so he's kind of tempering himself a yes. little bit right now. Reyes has thrown twice as many strikes as Jones. What I like is he's not sitting still. He said mobility is key, and you haven't seen Reyes sit still yet. But the fight is early. <laughs> round one in the books. Good, Good start for the challenger. Round for the challenger. Let's take a look at some of the action here. A good left shot by Reyes. Look at this one. Left hand on the chin. And another one. And there's John with a beautiful left high kick. And the second Caught thing is commit to that shot. You're just kind of reaching. Man, when you hit that shot, Hit that shot. Yes, sir. He's just picking you up so you know where to go from there. John, kick and range, going the bank. Stay in that body shot. Kicks. I want stabs. All right. So angle in, okay? Yes, yes, he's gonna he's gonna work those teeps a little bit more this round, okay? Look for that and 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 watch for that shot too, okay? Other than that, good work. Let's go. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. 
I love what Jackson said on that one. He said, Jones, right, commit to your shot. Let's He's go. just pulling you up. That means commit and follow up with the Greco after you shoot the shot. When he pulls you up to the upper body, you got trips and everything else. Commit to the shot is key for Jones in his corner. And Reyes, just keep doing what he did in that first round if you can keep the pace. Nice calf kick by Reyes. Reyes back to the body work. Faints. Well, most who spent time with Reyes this week Ooh. didn't expect him to be phased by the moment. So he low kick goes. there again by Reyes. Good kick to the body by John. Ooh. 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 Oh, my goodness. Jones retreats. He's on it. Oh. Keeping the pressure is Reyes. Jones, stand safe. Keeping the head moving. Not too many big shots landed yet. Good He's head got moving. John on the retreat. Kicks to the arm. There's a lot of offense by Reyes. And not too many huge shots landed. Right, but a lot of energy expended. Correct. He's already thrown 86 strikes to just 37 for Jones. It's extremely high pace. So remember the pace that's going on in this first two rounds. That's got to last for five. Particularly if John can initiate a clinch and bring him to the ground. Oh, Ooh, wow. nasty low kick. That was a nice check, though. Jones checked that one to the knee. That was a hard kick that he landed right to the knee. Jones attacking that rear leg of Reyes effectively there. Coming up on three minutes here to go. Round two of a possible five. Nice left counter from Jones. Now remember the movement of Reyes is a lot of energy too. And Jones isn't using all that movement. He's using a lot less energy being more methodical. So we got to see Reyes. Eventually he's going to start slowing down that footwork. And that's the question. What happens then? Nice body shots by Reyes. Right, particularly if he keeps getting these kicks checked, he starts damaging his legs. We start to see a little wobble to him. Oh. Left John with the left hook. That got Reyes' attention. What Jones is doing well is keeping Reyes on his heels, and that's more tiring moving backwards than it is moving forwards. Also, this is a championship fight. Reyes has never experienced this before. Never experienced five rounds right. against a world-class fighter. Right, just a training camp for a five-rounder against Chris Weidman, but you're right. No 25-minute experience for Dom Reyes. He's doing amazing so far, though. He certainly is. I mean, that's the most I've seen Jones hit in a long time. Jones defensively sound there. And once again attacks that lead leg of Reyes, who now backs Jones up with a left hand. See, the defense of Jones is what's the difference right now. He's hard to hit. Even when Reyes is offensive, he's not landing the big ones. Right. Jones's defense is his biggest weapon, in my opinion. And then he starts picking you apart once he makes you miss. And that was a nasty jab there by John as Dominic starts to slow down. John with this massive championship experience. kick by John, caught on the arm. Good nice. inside low kick. And see, he set that inside kick up with the high kick first, and that's what Jones does. He's methodical with his approach. He never throws anything without the next one being set up. Nice left hand. It's getting trickier, Jones. Oh, both land on that one. Less than a minute here to go round two, and incredibly, as well as Tiago Santos did against Jones last July, Reyes has already landed more significant strikes than Santos did over those full 25 minutes. Yeah, he's keeping a great pace. He's doing a great job countering Jones when he touches him, and he's making this an awesome fight to watch. Reyes is in this 100%. It's certainly very, very interesting. And as we expected coming into this fight, and I think as John expected, which is why John is so tuned in. Oh, beautiful left top of cut and a left hook behind it. But look at the defense of John. Right. He just moves just enough away. He's not, he's not gonna just stand, oh, beautiful inside low kick there that by the challenger. 
Davis may be trying to set up a late spinning attack. Evades that left hook from Jones. Nice round, bro. Nice round. Three. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Hey, good job, good round. Hey, we need to come back more. Cover two, okay, when we're, when we're retreating. Keep your hand up, glued to your face, okay? And then that inside leg kick is there all day. Hey, shuffle, 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 boom, leg kick. Okay? Not enough to do with the head kick. Yes. When you, when you get one of those hard shots, put that takedown in. Sir, John, kick and range, you're owning them, all right? Kick and range, you're owning them. The only time he touches you when you stand still in boxing range, you got it? Yes, sir. Stand still in boxing range, you're not hunting, he hits you. So I want you hunting and or kick and range. Don't forget your goals. Nikki yeah. was great. Nikki's great. Nicky hey, what's Raymond Daniels, baby? Goal. Yeah, we start Raymond Daniels. Second Second Don't up. forget Don't your goals. Go get him. Lion. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Dominic Cruz, Dominic Reyes has two of his brothers, Danny and Jose, in his corner. Your thoughts on the advice there after round two? Go, 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 Reyes to keep circling and pulling Jones into those kicks. You've got to take Jones' legs out. Those are his biggest weapon. And John just attacks with a nice inside low kick. Left high kick by Reyes. And Jones could take a shot too. Don't forget, like, even though he's won most of the time, we haven't even seen him really challenged where he has to go into deep waters and take a lot of damage, but he's tough as well, and that's what we're seeing from Jones here too. Well, the Gustafson fight, the first one in particular, is the best example of that. Agreed. Because he admittedly did not train for that fight. Yeah, and he and took a beating and still came back and won the fifth. Exactly, gutted it out in the fifth. Sheer toughness and heart. That was one of my favorite fights, and this is getting up there with me. Another really example awesome. is the Vitor fight. And the Vitor, Vitor caught him in a fully extended arm bar. And he would not tap, damaged his arm, but eventually tapped Vitor. Beautiful kick to the body by Dominic. That was a hard round kick to the body. Jones keeps the pressure, doesn't even take a step back. Nice right hand by Jones there. Oof. Reyes continuing to pressure Jones. Really taking the fight to him at every turn. Jones is controlling the center of the octagon though, like he always does. What's impressive is Reyes is keeping the pace, moving his feet backwards and side to side the entire time. And still making it dangerous for John to engage. What a pace these guys are keeping too. Reyes' nose is bleeding now. Good low kick for John there. Right hook's been very effective for Reyes to peel out to the weak side of Jones all night, plus the body shots. Now, Reyes had some problems with his nose in the Ozdemir fight and wound up fighting some of that fight with his mouth open. We're seeing the same thing now. Nice spinning attack to the body for Jones. Seems like Reyes might be slowing down a skosh here. Well, you've got to eventually. <laughs> Especially at the pace he's keeping. Jones is looking to keep the pressure and pay dividends in the last two rounds, I believe, with this pressure, but he's doing a great job eating the leg kicks while he's pressuring. That's one of the harder things to do, especially with the power of Reyes. Oh, good uppercut by Reyes. Reyes is so good at sliding away and then countering. Beautiful high kick by John, blocked by Reyes. But John just constantly keeps that pressure on. Nice shot. The shot. That's in. He's in deep. He is in deep. Wow, we'll dragged that. him up. Nice defense by Reyes. That shows how strong he is because his hands were locked under the butt and he was able to drag him back up. <laughs> we got an elbow over the top by Dominic Reyes in the clinch. Less than two minutes here to go in round three. Reyes with the left hand of the body, breathing heavy, mouth open. Tremendous pace. Nice left hand from Jones. And again, that right guard of Jones. Nice kick time. 
thing is, Jones is blocking him. I mean, he's eating shots, but he's just blocking him even when he eats him. So it's not the, the brunt force that we've seen Reyes land on everybody else to knock him out. And this relentless pressure from Jones. Good check there by John. Those checks add up. Nice hook by Jones on that one lands. The boxing of Jones is much improved in this matchup. And that's something that's always different about Jones. He always fights everybody different. His boxing is much more efficient in this fight than I've seen in most. Nice body shot by Reyes there. Yeah, Reyes keeps going to the body with that straight left. Jones continuing to advance, coming up on 30 seconds here in round three. Reyes lunging in with the lead uppercut, nothing doing. That one landed. Just incredible pressure by John. Just stays on him always. Never lets him breathe. And knows that he's sapping Reyes' strength as he does this. And knows that he can do this because of his wrestling. That if Reyes decides to close in on him, woo, look at this. Big shot, look at this high kick by Reyes, lands on the money when Jones tries to take the angle and exit. Nice body kick, which he always lands on everybody he fights so far. And look at this uppercut by Reyes on the counter jab, after he counters the jab, right Ooh. underneath. I mean, so pretty the way he lands that. Great timing, well Zigzag executed. Zigzag on you. The second thing you need to do is obviously watch for his left, but he's already hit you with it. So, you know, bite down on your mouthpiece, but give me three or four shots, pop, pop, pop. Okay. Sure. Call up the punches with your elbows, John. Read through right. Let's get the takedown against the cage. Your pressure is killing him, all right? He's getting tired. Keep the pressure on him with the kicks. Hey, he, what he does, he's going to come out the beginning of the round, hell bent for leather, then he's going to run. So you've got to time him. Okay, you got to get your kicks. Cut him off. All right, so this was the part of the fight that many people expected. John Jones would start to take advantage the championship rounds. Certainly would appear to be the pressure fighter if the corners are any indication, but. Some new territory here for the challenger, Dominic Reyes. We'll see how it goes. Fourth for him. round, gentlemen. Fourth round. Let's go, guys. Championship rounds. Well, we saw Rashad Bektik and Ige fight, and that was a tough fight to judge. And I thought the judges got it right to give them kudos on that tough fight. So let's hope for this fight they get it right because this looks like it might be going the distance. John checked another kick. Nice right oh, hook. That one hurt his eye. Nice oh. right hand. Left hand by Reyes lands. He's following up with combinations. No, oh. he's on him. Good left to the body. John's got a clinch. Nice inside trip attempt. Jones is on him. Gets the takedown. Right back up. Look and, at this. And this is a hurt Jones right here. That's why he's going so heavy on the wrestling. Very strong, beautiful transition. Gets the takedown. Reyes is still fighting. He's, look how strong Dominic Reyes is. Incredibly right strong. Right back up to his feet. Incredibly strong. Back to the double. Pulls it up, pulls him up to the body lock. Beautiful job by Reyes to defend. And this guy's cardio is through the roof to be doing this, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know. Throw the power, be moving backwards, and be able to just keep climbing up the fence on these takedowns. He's relentless on his defense in Reyes. And clearly, he's not willing to give up any ground. He's not taking any breaks. And he frames him off. Awesome. And a lot of this, Dom, cardio, but sheer will as well. John's bleeding out of his nose. Ray has shown absolute toughness. And so is Jones. This fight is everything that we thought it would be. And more. I agree. And there's a third stern warning from Dan Mergliot about those fingers extended. Less than three and a half now to go in round four. Lot of energy expended defending that takedown attempt. Low kick. And now we're seeing the kicks will start to land when the man gets tired. That's when Jones really starts to poke at the knees. Watch those knee pokes now to the to the knees. Watch how he attacks the knees in the takedowns. Dominic's very tired. You very see nice. labor. Oh, goodness, he's strong. You keep pulling it up. What he does is he grabs the elbows of Jones and pulls him up over his his butt so that he can get to the body lock instead of taking him down with the legs. Very nice defense. Nice oh, elbow over the yeah, top. Beautiful right elbow after a knee had landed for Jones. Oh, 
So largely the Reyes takedown defense is held up. But John is starting to wear on him with these the clinches and the grappling is wearing on Dominic. You're seeing the labored punches now. Realistically, he's still out striking. Woo! John's on the numbers, but that and he hasn't located. he hasn't stayed still yet. So it's make he is he is getting tired, but he's still moving and he's still landing a little bit more shots than John so far. Well, certainly the beginning of the round, he landed the more potent shots. And they had the biggest impact of the round. And he was able to defend those takedowns. I think Reyes is up in this fight right now, but he is getting tired. And we'll see how these championship rounds show up more than anything right here. This is where fights are won for champions. The last seven minutes of the fight is everything. Nice body shot by Jones, and we've seen him here. This is Reyes' first time in these kind of deep waters. Let's see how he handles him. Ooh, he ate an elbow there. That hurt. That was a beautiful elbow by Jones. Jones knows it starts to get ugly here, and he's putting the pressure. And starting to throw all those different limbs that don't have gloves on them. Nice. Oh, it's a good contact. left hook by John. Constant pressure by the champion. That wrestling oh. really made a difference for Jones in this round. Reyes is starting to throw one at a time, and it's getting easier for Jones to defend. He needs combinations, but he's a little bit tired. It's hard to throw combos when you're winded, obviously. Oh, wow. high kick. John, much fresher. The much fresher fighter here. Using a little less energy. He's always methodical, doesn't hop as much, isn't moving so much. Also, the off. experience of these championship fights. And a whole lot of them recently have gone the distance. Six of Jones's last eight have gone the full 25 minutes. What's really saving Reyes right now, though, is he's still not sitting still. He's still moving his feet, so his knees aren't getting taken out. It's, he's not just standing there getting beaten down by Jones like we see most guys at this point. He's still moving, and it's making it hard for Jones to set his feet and really sit down like he generally does. Nice uppercut. And he's recovered overhead. a little bit. He's able to fire back. Beautiful, Beautiful left, left hook, hook from Jones. Outstanding shot by Jones. One of his better shots of the fight. 20 minutes down, five to go. Woo, what a fight. Awesome. Hey, right, good round, Breathe. Yeah, I know you're tired, bro. I know you're tired, but this is five minutes. You're fucking, you're, you're fucking doing this, okay? You're doing this, Dominic. You're gonna be and new. And new, you just gotta dig deep, bro. Keep your hands up. You got this. I love you, man. I love you, okay? Keep moving. You're there. You're there. Hey, just be. Take it out. You need to take over and finish him. You understand me? Okay, listen. It's gonna might come down to this round. Might come down to this round. So I need everything you've got. All that positive energy, I need all of that for five minutes of hell. You understand me? Long range Hands. Kicks, John Jones. Okay, long range kicks, the elbows are working great. You got it? He's gonna come in hard with that Where'd left. You go? You're gonna come in harder after it. After it. All right, we'll see how it goes in this fifth and final round. You see the significant strike picture. Big fourth round for John Jones. If we do go to the scorecards, Chris Lee and Marcos Rosales, two experienced judges. If you're curious, Chris Lee earlier tonight final scored round. fights for final Derek round. Lewis and Andrea Let's Lee. Go, Marcos John. Rosales scored that close fight for Dan Ige over Mursad Bektic. It all comes down to this. It really does. I mean, this could be the deciding round in the fight. And a good opening response there from Dominic Reyes. And in that fourth round, Jones really closed the striking differential. And we don't know what the judges are gonna think about that so far, watching all these other fights. So we'll see what, how this turns out. But this has been incredible so far. Good low kick by Dominic. Nice shot by Jones, completely committed to it. And he's got the lock and he's gonna pull him down. And these are the things that make a difference to the judges. What an athletic, urgent shot from John Jones now. Reyes back up. How about this defense by Tommy Reyes? Just incredibly impressive. Well, I love that he, it's really just not accepting yes. it. Be, having the gas tank and saying, you know what, I don't care, I'm gonna keep getting up. What's harder than, ta than getting taken down is when somebody keeps getting up. And that's what Reyes is doing very well. But Jones stays on the pressure, and that's the difference in championships.
of the pressure of Jones, even after the wrestling. He's keeping it on to win this round. Nice elbow by Jones. Oh. Jones. John just absolutely relentless with his pressure. Both guys exchange low kicks. And the cardio of John Jones, just incredible. Great output here late in the fight. Pretty good left from Reyes. Beautiful kick body, body kick from Jones. That hurt. And a nice low kick. John chopping away at him. Dominic's got to dig deep. We got three minutes to go. Gotta think these are gonna feel like a long 180 seconds for Dominic Reyes, who just ate an elbow there. And I'll tell you what, the last three minutes of the fight is the hardest every round. So this is where, this is the gut check right here for Reyes. This is where you find out what you're made of. Jones has been here. This is where Reyes learns about himself. He's trying to land that left hand, but it's, it's just so labored now. Oh, Kick beautiful. to the body by John. Jones has really closed the gap in terms of the total strikes landed. Check that kick. And the way that he goes to the body, knowing that Reyes is tired, is pure intelligence. He's not just head hunting. Chopping away at the leg again. Ooh, oh. Left hand by John. There's your total strike oh, picture. Spinning back kick. Jones adding to his total two minutes. John now just to go. seems so much fresher. He is fresher. That's what exactly yes. what you're seeing. He is fresher this round, 100%. He just used a little less energy than Reyes throughout this fight. And Reyes' pace in the first two got really far ahead. And as the rounds went on to four and five, Jones closed the gap. Well, there's also some, oh, nice left hand by Reyes. There's also something to be said the fact that John's done this so many times. He's got the endurance to go five rounds. Reyes has really never competed five rounds. And he's still in this fight, yes. killing it. And he's he could win it. I, I mean, I'm not seeing him down right now. It, it's, it's up for grabs, in my opinion, this fight. Reyes could very well win this. Nice jabs. Yep. Still agile, still moving well. That's what's keeping him going in this fight. You can't sit still on Jones, otherwise he's lethal. And Reyes knows that he's been non-stop motion the entire fight. And for a light heavyweight to do that, incredible. Final minute of this light heavyweight championship. Dominic Reyes eats a heel to the midsection there. He's trying to change the course of UFC history. Not blind to the fact that he might have to beat John Jones twice if he is able to get his hand raised tonight. And if one time isn't hard enough, right. geez. And that's the thing about winning and being a title and being one of the best is you're just gonna face that guy again the next fight. Jones with the advantage here in round five on the feet, albeit slightly. This is everything, last 20, who wants it more? Movement is key. It's exactly what it's about. Final 10 seconds of the fight. We'll see if Jones has a late attack in him. Spins, unable to land. Dominic Reyes and John Jones go the 25-minute distance tonight. Boy, oh! this one in the hands of the judges. Wow. It's in their hands, Jones. We see We've John some, Jones' his father there, Octagon side. We've had some very weird decisions tonight, particularly Jonathan Martinez lost. Jones appears confident that he has done enough. Has Dominic Reyes slayed the dragon? Or does the path to light heavyweight gold still go through Albuquerque, New Mexico? Fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff. Gold character since 1872. I am just shocked to see that we're going to leave this title fight <laughs> I know. to these judges. I, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's scary. And there's that John head kick is in the first round, landed with the toes. John with a kick to the body. Amazing fight. These guys are awesome. Incredible. Round two, John with a jab. Good left hand by John. Round three. 
Here's a great head kick by Dominic Reyes. And a beautiful body kick by Reyes. Sneaks right under the guard. Nasty left uppercut. Look at that, perfectly placed. Round four, championship rounds. John Jones gets the takedown, but Dominic Reyes right back up. Beautiful leg kick by John. Jab by John. Right hand behind it. Just missed with the elbow. Touches him with that right hand, a left hook over the top. In the fifth and the final round, which was a lot of John Jones. You Except see the one two, two to the body, but look at this. Kick to the body by John. Well, if you are curious, as we look at some numbers on this fight, you see John Jones took control in rounds four and five, but an outstanding start through three rounds, at least for Dominic Reyes, and certainly plenty of these rounds could have gone either way. Joe Solis, by the way, third judge assigned to this main event. He was the guy who did have Andre Ewell 30 to 27 over Jonathan Martinez earlier tonight. Hey, so news. don't shoot the messenger. We will <laughs> see how the judges have scored this UFC light heavyweight championship fight. No more waiting, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest, 48-47, 48-47, and 49-46 for the winner by unanimous decision, and still! Congratulations. You, you seemed, you seemed incredibly focused for this fight. You knew what a challenge Dominic Reyes was going to present here tonight. Was anything about this fight surprising to you? Yeah, Dominic did a, 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 a tremendous job. Dominic, you have totally earned my respect, man. That was a great foot take. Uh, that, was, that was a great fight. I tell you what, I, I think the difference in the fight were takedowns. I couldn't keep him down for too long, but I was taking him down. I'm pretty sure I took him down at least three rounds. So it was close in the kickboxing exchanges. He landed some, uh, some tough shots, but I believe my takedowns is what got me the edge. Now going into the fourth and fifth rounds, the championship rounds, you really turned up the pressure, constantly pressure. Were you thinking it was possible that the judges had given him those first three? Yeah, I knew it was a really close fight, and I turned it on the, in the fifth round. Between the takedowns and the fact that I completely dominated that fifth round, I mean, I felt like I hit him maybe, maybe, he hit me maybe one out of every six times I hit him in the fifth round. That fifth round won me the